honestly, the time I spend trying to like have a decent bun, I should just go upstairs and straighten my hair. <laughs> this looks dreadful. But you know what? Just let me live my life because the fact that I'm even getting on here and filming today is like a miracle in itself. How's that? Mm. It is what it is. You know what? I'm 15 weeks pregnant and this is just as good as it's gonna get, okay? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I have a fun haul for you guys. I don't have too much to share, but I have some new finds as well as some thrifted finds, some antique store finds. So I wanted to get this video up for you guys. I know it's been a little while. I'm sorry. Things are just crazy around here with our first baby on the way and we are nesting like nobody's business. We are both so motivated to get so many home decor projects done. I have, before I get into the video, if you don't wanna hear about like life updates and plans and all of that stuff, you can skip ahead, but I just wanna update you guys a little bit. I have a list on my iPad, literally like my entire iPad long, of all of the things that we want to accomplish and like get done this summer. And I know I mentioned that, in my last video when so many people were like, just relax, like take it easy. No, I am thriving. I love this kind of stuff. So this isn't like a burden to me to have like a list of things to do. Like it's not daunting to me. I am so excited to finally get these projects done. Things that we've been putting off for literally years. We just need to like actually go into our savings account and finally invest some money into this house because we just did so many cheap projects when we first moved in, which is fine. We made it through, we made it by all of that good stuff, but we can finally like put some money into the house, which feels so good. So, so many things to come. I got a new kitchen island, which I'm not gonna show you guys that yet. I think I'm gonna do like one big like kitchen makeover video cause I plan on repainting the countertops. We wanna get a new sink. We are just like, we're thriving over here. We're thriving, we're nesting, we're decluttering. You guys, I have taken, well, I've sold a lot of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I have been making so much money over there selling stuff and I have been taking so much stuff to the Goodwill, old clothes and just decor that I'm not using that I'm really like, you need to condense this stuff. And being a home decor thrifter and YouTuber, it's challenging because like, I want to just bring home everything to show you guys and like what you can do with it, but it just became like way too much upstairs. So we've been decluttering, got rid of so many like pots and pans and kitchen things. Oh my God. So good. There's just so many good things. And, um, I have a fireplace makeover to share with you. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that I started laying brick on our fireplace because before it was painted and now we can like invest some money into our fireplace. And so here's a little sneak peek. That's all I'm going to show you. There's the brick right there and our new beam. Oh my God. It is like everything I envisioned and more. I'm so excited about it. So yes, I am going to have so many videos coming of like home updates and like renovations. We have things in the yard we wanna do. Nick is currently gutting our upstairs bathroom. We're getting a brand new bathtub and walls, like bath walls on Tuesday. We have to go pick out a vanity. We installed new light, paint. We gotta put in a new toilet. Like I said, I got a new island. What else? Um, there's just so much we want to do. <laughs> and um, honestly, I'm having the time of my life because I 
live for this stuff. So anyway, I have not really been doing much shopping, if I'm being honest. I'm more invested in like um, putting my time and energy into projects. So really I've been spending money on like paint and paint brushes and rollers and new doorknobs and black door hinges. So that's kind of where most of my money has been going and not so much towards thrifting, but I have been like popping in randomly to different places. So I'm going to shush and we're going to get started. So the first thing I want to share is what, what do I want to share first? Okay. So I already showed you guys this in my last like shop with me video and I purchased this coffee canister. I have yet to fill it up because I'm lazy, but it's been sitting on my coffee bar shelves and I love it so much. So I went on Etsy and ordered a matching one. It's not like 100% identical, but if you can see, I have tea bags in here, but it says, it's hard to see. It says tea. Can you see that? There you go, kind of. It says tea on it, so I filled it up with some tea bags, some decaf tea that we drink before bed. Me and Nick will snuggle up in bed and drink our hot tea together. So I got those two matching canisters and I love them. And then this I found, I don't know if you guys have a Christmas tree shops around you. Uh, they sell all types of decor, not just Christmas stuff. So I don't know why they name that their store, whatever. But I know you can get these at a lot of different places. But I got this for our sugar for our coffee. I don't put sugar in mine, but I know Nick does. And it's like that same kind of textured glass. So I thought that this would look pretty on our coffee bar and kind of match the canisters. And this was like $2 at this store. I even think that the Dollar Tree and Dollar General may sell these as well. Even Amazon, I'm sure you can find them. Speaking of Etsy, I was on Instagram and this girl posted a picture with her peg rails and oh, I love how peg rails look. I just wanna put them throughout my whole house. I'm not even kidding. But um, she had one of these hanging on her peg rail and I was like, I immediately went on Etsy and needed to find one and I could only find this little guy and I don't know what it is about this but this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It is a mini vintage egg basket with this like scallop details. I was thinking of going to Hobby Lobby while it's still Easter time and seeing if I can find any mini wooden eggs to put in here and hang off of a peg rail. I just think that would be the cutest thing ever. So I picked that up on Etsy for way too much money than I'd like to admit, but it's cute, okay? And I haven't really been doing much shopping, so if I spend like 40 bucks on Etsy, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I think that's how much this canister was, like maybe around 40, but getting pregnant has been the best thing for my bank account, let me just say that, because I have not really been out shopping as much and thrifting and antiquing. Yeah, it's been good for me. <laughs> so next up, I have been dying to find one of these washboards with the glass on it. And every time I find them, they're always in really rough condition or they have like red font here and I don't love that. And then this one I found at one of my favorite antique stores. And I don't even know what this says. This says, hold on, soap saver, patent September 7th, 1915. I didn't even see that when I bought this, but this is metal and it's galvanized and all rusty and the wooden surround. And then this part is glass. This thing is just so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. And I only paid $25 for this at the antique store. And I know so many of you are like, oh my God, I want to see your laundry room. My laundry room is not picture worthy whatsoever. Our shelves are literally like your shelves are supposed to be on a 90 degree angle. Ours are like this. I just bought new brackets at Home Depot. That's on our list of things to 
fix before the baby comes. <laughs> I'm like, we need to um, fix these because I bought these brackets that are just literal trash and everything is slanted. So once I fix those shelves, that will lean up against the, the laundry room shelves. But no, it is not cute in there. You can see our hot water heater, all of our like duct work for our heating and air. It's, it ain't cute, okay? But we try, we try. At another antique store, this was on the same day that I found that um, washboard. I got this sign. This was actually outside of an antique store and I was so nervous that it wasn't gonna be for sale. I am obsessed with this so much. It looks like so primitive country and I actually have it on our fireplace. So this sign is the cutest thing I have ever seen. It says antique pickings. I just love this thing so much. Um, I'm sure it was, it was handmade. I think it says lucky... I want to say C-A-R-R. -R. I don't know, but it says 1998 on the back. So this has been around for a little while. I just love this. I love the patina on it. It's so good. Whoever made this did such a good job. And I think this is the cutest thing ever. And I only paid $15 for it. I was like, is the sign out front for sale? And he was like, oh, like check if there's a price. I was like, no, there's not. He was like, mm, how's 15? I was like, score. I was so excited about that price. Um, okay, this is gonna sound so weird. I know like other people have agreed with me about like manifesting the things that you want. And I swear to you, I manifested this piece at the Goodwill. So months ago, I had seen a cake stand identical to this and I didn't buy it. I don't know why I didn't buy it. It was beautiful. It was like six bucks. And I thought about it for four days. I was out thrifting at another Goodwill. <laughs> My dog is chasing birds. I thought he literally had a squirrel in his mouth. Um, I was at another Goodwill, and this was months back. I drove 40 minutes back to the original Goodwill to see if that cake stand was still there four days later. It was gone. I was so sad. And I thought about this cake stand for literally ever since then. I'm like, oh, I wish I had that. It was just so beautiful. It would look cute with my decor. I was watching Dawn, the Minimal Mom, which I am not minimal, but I have just been like loving listening to her videos while I'm cleaning and decluttering my house. It's just like so motivating. No, I am not a minimalist, but I just like to listen to her content and she motivates me to get rid of stuff that needs to be gone. So I'm listening to her and her most recent video, she is out thrifting and she shows this cake stand and I was like, oh my gosh, that's the cake stand I want. I want that so bad. Don't you know I go to Goodwill that day and I find her? There she is, sitting on the shelf waiting for me for $9.99. I manifested this, I'm certain of it. And I don't know what it is about this, but I love it so much. I think it's like the ribbed detail on it. It is just, I love it. I love it so much. I'm so happy that I found it. I cannot wait to be the mom that like bakes home good treats for my babies and puts them in a cake stand out on the counter. Like I will be that mom. I will be that mom. So I am so thrilled about that. Now it makes me want to get rid of like my plain Jane cake stands because I'm like, that's all I need. That is ideal. And I love her. Next up, there is this store. It is called, is it the Country Cottage? I think it's called the Country Cottage. And it is near an antique store that I visit. And they sell a lot. It's like a really little, almost looks like an oversized shed. And 
it's like a primitive store. They sell the cutest things. And I always find like the best little primitive treasures there that mix well with my like white neutral farmhouse style. So first thing I got was this adorable little fresh egg sign. And my in-laws have eggs. So we have a basket of eggs on our counter and I've been leaning this up against that and it just looks so cute on the kitchen counter. So I got this, I think I paid like maybe six bucks, 10 bucks for this little like metal enamel sign. And also at that store, I got some candle risers. So this one I have up on our fireplace right now. This is like real chippy, um, like that weathered. I feel like we used, to, I used to do this crackle look all the time when I was in like middle school and I used to love painting and stuff. I used to do this crackle finish cause it was like so country and in. But anyway, um, it's like this pillar and it has this little dish and I've just been keeping it on my mantle with a candle on top. It just looks so pretty. And I love candle holders instead of just like setting a candle on your table, putting it on something like this. I just love that so much. So I got that. I want to say I paid, I think I paid $35 for that. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm th trying to think. Yeah, I think that one was like maybe 30 or 35. But you know what? This is such like a little small store. I love supporting this guy's business. I don't know if he gets a lot of business, but um, yeah, I really like his store and his stuff. So I also got this little riser, just like a another one of those like chippy distressed risers. Looks really pretty with a candle on it. This is actually gonna go on my brand new island. And I'm like, do I show you a sneak peek of it? I think I wanna wait. I don't know, it's so good. I'm so excited to share it with you. Um, in his store, he has these um, Homestead Studios Candle Co. I am switching over all my candles to soy candles and soy wax melts. Um, I am, maybe I'll make a video on that. Let me know if you guys are interested. I'm trying to just like move towards some more natural routes, some more natural ways of living, uh, cleaner products, like cleaning products and candles and all of that good stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. I can let you know some of the research that I've done. If that's not interesting to you, no worries, but I got this amazing smelling candle. It's in this cute little mason jar and it has this little tchotchke on it. It's like a little mixer. It's so cute. This one is farmhouse kitchen and it smells to die for. So imagine this in the spring on your counter with your little riser. Love her. And I think that riser was like 20 and I think this candle was like 18, but anytime you buy from like those small shops, these soy candles are always a little bit pricey, but honestly the price of candles at home goods nowadays is like $14.99 anyway. Crazy. Um, I haven't put these out yet, mainly cause I've been waiting to film this video for you guys, but there are these primitive lights and he has them all over his store. And I'm not normally like a lights kind of gal, only in like my hutches, but he makes his stuff look so cute with all the lights everywhere. So I was just so tempted to buy them, but they're on this brown, hi Maggie. They're on this brown strand. If I put them up tonight, I'll try to insert a clip. And they just have these little lights Sorry, it's not focusing very well, but they have these little lights and I think I want to put these across my TV stand, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I just thought they were really cute. This is like a, this is a long one, 19 feet. So I thought it was cute and they're plug-in, which I like. I don't have to always change out the batteries. I think that was all I got at his store. I grabbed just a couple of things, support local businesses. And then I do have two things that I want to share with you guys that I can link for you. So I picked up this adorable little, um, it just says, 
I don't know, deco foliage. I don't know exactly what type of plant this is. It looks like a pothos plant, but I have pothos plants. I'm pretty sure it's not one of them. Um, but I bought but I bought this for $8 at Home Depot and I mainly got it to put it on our windowsill in our kitchen and it does look really cute up there. And then I got this amazing pot with the drainage tray from Walmart. You guys, this looks like an old age terracotta pot. And this I think together was like maybe less than $10. You have to go to your Walmart, go in the outdoor section and pick up some of these. They had a couple different sizes. I think this is so beautiful. If I didn't have cats that got into literally everything I own, I would have bought more for my for plants and bought more plants. I should show you the plant that I purchased. Beautiful, full pothos plant. It's sitting in my picket fence bowl. Oh, let me grab it for you. Hold on one second. <laughs> Go you guys, this plant was so full of life when I bought her. She was sitting in my bowl. These are all cat nibbles. Yep. Oh, oh you want to see more? Okay. Here's another nibble. Nibbles. Nibbles nibble and please i don't need the educational plant safety for animals because i already know i know and you know what they're still alive and thriving my cats not my plant and um at this rate it's just karma if they go after it again because i've sprayed them many times and i told them no but they don't listen to me so instead like, what do I even do to this? Like, I feel like I should just throw it away at this point. This is sad. I can't. It's freaking animals. Okay. So, yes, I would go buy more of those pots, but I can't with the uh, critters that I have. And then last but not least that I have to share with you is this amazing wicker basket. This looks like a vintage or antique basket. Honestly, I'm obsessed with this. This is $60 at Target, which is steep. But if you found a basket like this in an antique store in this condition, you'd probably pay upwards of $80 in my area at least. So I was very excited to purchase this at Target. And I know recently they just had 20% off all of their home decor. So if you can score it when it's on, excuse me, when it's on sale, I would do that. But 60 bucks I didn't think was too bad. And I had some gift cards that I put towards it. So love this so much. I am looking for like a pine cabinet to put in our sitting room. And I want to be able to like put baskets on top, something like that. That's the vision I have in my head, but who knows if that'll come out how I want it or this is going to go in baby's nursery with like blankets or toys or whatever but I just think this is so pretty this just matches the aesthetic of my home so much I love it and that my friends I think is it I don't really have too much else to show you not too much is going on over here except projects on projects I have been filming some stuff it's just balancing like getting the projects done and being a full-time nurse and being exhausted because I'm pregnant and my mile high to-do list. So bear with me. I know I have been really slow this year on YouTube, but give me some grace. <laughs> we are in a very different season of life that I am so blessed and so excited for. I can't even put it into words how truly blessed we are because I know what it's like to struggle with infertility and to want like a life so bad with your husband. So if you are struggling in those regards, I'm thinking of you. And anyway, that's all I have to share with you guys today. I can't wait to show you some sneak peeks of the kitchen. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Let me know if you want to hear about like, 
I can take you around the house maybe and go over all of the things that we need to accomplish. Maybe I should do that video like how to make you feel like you also live in a normal home. I know everything like looks perfect in all these videos, but my to-do list is like a mile high. I'm not even kidding. Like um, I should say a mile long, not a mile high, but it's like a mile long. And I think it would make you feel really normal about your house. All of the things that are just like so imperfect about this house. And not that we're trying to get to perfect. We're just trying to accomplish things that we have been looking at for four years that we're like, mm, we should probably finish the trim there. <laughs> so let me know if you'd like to see that. I could take you around the house next week and expose myself. That could be a fun video. Here's how to make you also feel normal about your house video. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some random new finds for the home. And I will link what I can down below for you. And then hopefully next week, I'm going to try to get up my compilation video of everyone's reaction to us telling them that I am pregnant. So that'll be a goal of mine for next week. Fingers crossed that I will get that accomplished. And... Yeah, we're going to keep chugging along at projects and I'll be taking you guys along with me. Even if they're just day in the life videos, just to get some content out for you guys, just to show you guys what's going on. Because once I like finally get on camera, I am word vomiting because I have so much to share with you when really I should just pick up the camera twice a week and just do some day in life because I think I've said maybe 4,000 words so far, probably more. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.